Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer, and today we're going to create the Green Dragon. This recipe was submitted by Corey. Um, we also had a recipe yesterday called the Jackson 5. That was actually submitted by Jonathan, but in my fray of kind of rolling solo, I, I got confused and forgot stuff. Uh, check it out. We, we still have this. I wanted to mention this up front because I keep forgetting. Um, I'm going to give these away. The um, This is the party paddle. So all the people who submitted about different books and DVDs and gave me their feedback, they're all going to be in the in the submission. I just wanted to let all these stragglers come in who haven't seen the episode in a week and they're catching up. So we're going to send those out. I'm going to pick some winners and I'll announce it and you guys will... I'll, I'll, you'll know you won because I'll ask for your address so I can ship it out. So today we're going to do creme de menthe, vodka, and Cointreau. It's like the short show. We've got... I'm short. These are short. This is weird. We got a small bottle of Cointreau. That's because that's all they had at the store when I went because it was a, a vacation and everybody bought all the alcohol. A small bottle of Grey Goose Vodka. This was from Alcohols by Volume where we covered vodkas. And I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of vodkas in big form because I really needed them for the show for tasting, hence the small size. And the largest bottle is the Creme de Menthe. And we're going to do one ounce of vodka, one ounce of Creme de Menthe, so very alcoholy, minty, with a little bit of Cointreau, half ounce. Throw that in a cocktail glass, of course, because it's going to be kind of potent. And see how that's going to be. It should be green. It's Green Dragon. So let's start with, I don't know, ice. Chill up my glass a little bit. We'll do an ounce of vodka. There you go. And this, by the way, is if you've... It's good for sipping. I, I'm, I'm still on the edge on whether it's worthwhile putting that, putting Grey Goose in a in a cocktail per se, because it's kind of pricey for what you're you're going to be mixing it with. So it's it's almost like if you're a huge brand fan of the Grey Goose, I understand. But if you're buying, if you're looking to buy massive amounts of vodka for I don't know filling out your bar or whatever, it might not necessarily be cost worthy. But again, it's up to you. Or if it's the only thing you could find, well, obviously, you buy it. But it is definitely good. It's just, it's almost like spending too much on a cocktail when you can get other other ingredients that are still going to be, you know, nearly as good, if not the same, on taste for less money. And we're going to shake this cocktail. Let's throw a little more ice in there. One more. So we don't have anything. You know what? Here, we'll throw some ice in there to keep that chilled. There we go. We'll shake this up. That's totally going to be great. Oh, yeah. Whew. There we go. You can brush your teeth with this. If you like mint. If you hate mint, I can tell you right now, this is not going to be a drink that you're going to want to consume too much of, if at all, ever, in your life, ever. It's definitely green. I wouldn't, I don't even know what you garnish this with if you wanted to. Maybe like a stick of gum? I have the hang sticking on the on the bottom. I don't really know. It's maybe the color is a garnish by itself. It's definitely shows itself uh, brilliantly. Very much green. There's no doubt about it. To make this cocktail like this, you will need cre green creme de menthe. You can get clear like this. So you're gonna want this. Although it's the same taste. So if you're you're like, well, what's the difference? It's really just gonna be presentation. Cocktails, presentation, you need to have that. It's mint. Yep. Mint. Um, so if you like mint, like in any way you look at it, you're getting mint. This is one of those drinks where they're like, yeah, mint overwhelms a lot of cocktails, so what we're going to need to do is just deal with it. You know, you're not going to look at it and go, oh, what can we balance mint with? There are a few things. We did peppermint and Jaeger. Who knew? But this drink, I think, stands out as how can we make a creme de menthe-based recipe 
that tastes like creme de menthe, but has a little more alcohol as if you need that. Maybe a little orange, I guess. <laughs> I think they just do that to bump up the price a little bit. Um, overall, if you like creme de menthe and you're looking for a reason to drink creme de menthe and you're, you're looking to do it without drinking it straight, because that's just crazy, this is the way to do it. You dilute it in vodka. So there you go. That is the Green Dragon. Definitely minty fresh. Maybe a good starter for the night. I don't know. So there you go. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Check us out on everydaydrinkers.tv. We're teaching you how to drink.